gives us exams which are very hard. Really ununderstandable. So the questions <laughs> like <laughs> even Satan can't even think about them. Uh, can you see the question is like oh okay the question says mm, what see these pictures give me their names like probably this is a picture of a lion and a butterfly and what and then after you make the quiz and you're like oh it's really easy you ask your friends well no the question was what kind are they or the well, omniverse or the no no I, uh, no, no I never <laughs> come on man never ask about the, uh, the name of the butterfly <laughs> what <laughs> is called here uh, no, uh, your, your exam is like a, a little bit hard not uh, like well, actually, your, your, your exams are challenges have challenges yeah challenges. yeah exactly so you can difference between those who studied and those who uh, exerted some effort uh, while studying and those who didn't so that's uh, the whole idea because after all right now you're still in grade eight if you did not uh, become acquainted by exerting some effort by doing something hard in order to get the full mark once you enter the high school and college later and once you become specified also after college in your own professions you will not have the idea of exerting effort that's what we are trying to implement inside you right now once you have the idea that no, I need to get tired, I need to exert some efforts in order to reach number one, then, only then, you will have your whole life ahead of you. It's going to be pretty easy because you have the concept right now in your head. On the other hand, if I gave everything to you very easily, then what is the difference between those who studied and those who did not? Teacher. Right? Yes, Muhammad. Then for me, like uh, that, uh, math is easier than uh, for me. It's much easier than uh, uh, what you call language art. Yes, for, for me. me yeah. For me, also math is much easier than language arts. Yeah. Actually, I have never studied either math or language arts in my life. Ever, I always just listen to the teacher while explaining, and that's it. So actually they are pretty easy, but once you accustom them yourself to. So having said so far, shall we start by the new reading comprehension page 449, Uncle Marcus. Okay, teacher, can I read? All right. So today we'll speak about a new reading comprehension and uh, the fifth unit or unit five okay we will not force take all of it but we will just try to speak about it know the circumstances of that uh, reading comprehension why was it written what uh, does it talk about and just get uh, a full you know ideas or information and later we can discuss it one by one so uncle marcus why would we call any reading comprehension by the name uncle marcus I don't know. So let's find out. To speak first about the summary. TB, can you read? Okay. Uncle, Ma uh, Uncle Marcus is an exp uh, ex excerpt from Isabel Allen's novel, The House of the Sprint. The Spirit. During Color's childhood, Uncle Marcus. Occasionally, occasionally, returns from journey to faraway lands, bringing all manner manners of love, animals, and usual ah all manners of luggage, ah animals. luggage, animals, and usual items with him. During this visit to his sister's house, he might bring. Embarrassment, yes. embarrassment to the family as he does when he buys a barrel organ in order to publicly publicly who his cousin Antonian and 
Antoniety. Uh, he also might bring excitement as he does when he build a flying machine that looks like a bird color. Clara, Uncle Marcus, share an interest uh, in thorough prophesying and prophesying and develop a special bond. So, simply the whole idea of the summary today speaks about one person, which is Uncle Marcus. Of course, it's an excerpt from our author, okay, or authoress because it's a female, let's highlight her name, Isabella Allendy. So that's our author or authoress because she's a female, of course. So she wrote a novel. This novel was titled by the name The House of the Spirits. The House of the Spirits. So you're speaking about a house that is full of spirits. And while writing about this, she has mentioned to us that during Clara's childhood clara is the main character in the book the novel the house of the spirits during her childhood what did clara used to do clara and uncle marcus occasionally return from journeys to far away lands so they traveled to very very far away lands and then they came home while they are home they would bring luggage with them luggage like things from far away souvenirs for example okay they will bring some sort of animals and very very unusual items to the family and while bringing those stuff they might either bring embarrassment to be embarrassed okay something is bad or even bring an excitement to the family and this is totally dependable upon the luggage animals and unusual items they can bring also while doing so Clara and Uncle Mar uh, Marcus, they shared a very common interest. This interest was in uh, prophesizing and also developing a special bond. Prophesizing means to have a prophecy. A prophecy like to think that something will happen in the future. So they shared that common view of uh, prophesizing and also a very special bond between both of them. Far so good. So far so good, grade eight. Yes, teacher. Okay, so again, Isabel Allen D. She has spoken to us in about a book. This book is called, or this novel is called The House of Spirits, and that uh, novel we have two characters clara and her uncle which name was uh, uncle marcus to so speak about the author muhammad al fal can you please muhammad al fal still with us Ali, do you have a mic? Hassan? No, uh... Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Uh, okay. Yes, teacher. You call me? Yeah, were you sleeping? No. I'm sorry if I woke you up, man. Maybe, you never know. Okay. Can you uh, tell us about the author, please? Yes, Isabel. I do. Isabel Allenby. Uh, she is a Chilean American novelist, essayist, and a lecturer who has been called the world's most widely read Spanish language author. Uh, Allenby's novels combine elements of myth and realism, magical realism, uh, and are often based on her personal experiences. In 1992, after, after the, the tragic death of her daughter, she established a foundation dedicated to the protection and empowerment of women and children worldwide. Alendi became a U.S. citizen in 1993 
and in 2014 was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Barack Obama. My guy. Yep. So, simply, we are speaking about a woman who was a Chilean American. Chilean from uh, the city of Chile. Okay. So she was a novelist. She wrote novels. Yes, yes, wrote essays, especially on uh, the web or even a newspaper, and also literature. Gave lectures uh, to the people. Uh, she has involved some of the most important uh, two items uh, while writing her novel: the myth and also realism. Meaning that uh, something that is real realism or some. Uh, thing that is totally unreal or not true, which is called a myth. Like, for example, some people do not believe in ghosts and they believe that they do not exist. For them, ghosts are myth. Okay, others believe that they are real. For them, they are real. So she tried to combine both of them in her novels. And most of these novels were actually based upon her own personal information. Okay, so in 1992, unfortunately, her daughter died, and after that, she became very frustrated, and yet she started to speak and started to write until she got her U.S. citizenship in 1993. Later, Barack Obama himself has awarded her the Presidential Medal for her freedoms, for her novels, for everything that she has contributed in the American society. So, Uncle Marcus. Uncle Marcos, Isabel Allende. Uncle Marcos is an excerpt from Isabel Allende's novel, The House of the Spirits. During Clara's childhood, Uncle Marcos occasionally returns from journeys to faraway lands, bringing all manner of luggage, animals, and unusual items with him. During these visits to his sister's house, he might bring embarrassment to the family, as he does when he buys a barrel orchid in order to publicly woo his cousin, Antonietta. He also might bring excitement as he does when he builds a flying machine that looks like a bird. Clara and Uncle Marcos share an interest in prophesy and develop a special bond. All right, so let's go directly to the background. Hussein? Or I read the background, and Hussein, you read the first paragraph. <laughs> so for the background, once again, Uncle Marcos is from Isabel from the first novel, which began as the letter to her 100 year old grandfather. The Zeterpet draws on the Greek myth of Acros and also Daedalus. In the myth, Daedalus invites a pair of wings and teaches his son how to use them, yet uh, warns him not to fly too close to the sun because the wax and the wings would melt. Icarus is too excited to listen, yet, and he drowns in the ocean after his wings melt. So, scene number one. It had been three years since Clara had last seen her uncle Marcos, but she remembered him very well. His his. His was the only perfectly clear image she retained from her whole childhood, and in order to describe him, she did not need to consult the 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 type the type in the drawing room that showed him dressed yes, as an explorer leading on an old-fashioned double-barreled rifle. Twenty-seven. With his right foot on the neck of a Malaysian tiger, the same room and position which she had seen the Virgin standing between Placid Clouds and Pilot Angels at the main altar. One foot on the van vanquished devil. All Clara had to do 
to see if his uncle was close to the island that he was. Whether beaten and thin, with a pirate mustache through which his strange, sharp life smile peered out at her. It seemed impossible that he could be inside that long box, black box that was lying in the courtyard. All right, so simply in the first paragraph, uh, we speak about that, that there has been two years since Clara has met her uh, uncle. While in those years, of course, she just uh, misses him a lot, uh, misses him very, very much because he often brought excitement to her and he was uh, so uh, kind to her and both of them share the common views of uh, prophesizing uh, and also interesting. Yeah. Or interests. Yet uh, she doesn't have uh, to make a whole of a story or to exert much efforts in order just to remember him. She doesn't have to remember him putting his leg on a tiger in a standing of a triumphant one, like the Virgin standing between uh, the plaster clouds and the angels uh, at the main altar. Of course, the Virgin here uh, referring to Mary, son of uh, Jesus. So simply. She doesn't have to do all of that. Uh, all she needs to do in order to remember her uncle is uh, to close her eyes. And once she closes her eyes, she will have the ability to remember him. Whether Pete and thin, whether a pirate's mustache through which uh, his uh, strange shark-like smile peered out at her, whatever shape he might be at that situation, yet all she needs in order just to remember her uncle all over those two years, okay, just to close her eyes. Okay, and paragraph number two. Khaled Al Malki, do you have a mic? Yes, teacher. Yes, Khaled, can you read, please? Okay. Uh each time Uncle Marcos ha had visited his sister Nevia's home, he had stayed for several uh, months to immense joy of his nieces and nephews, particularly Clara, causing a storm in which the in which the sharp lines of domestic order blurred. The house became a clutter of trunks uh, of animals in jars of formal height of Indian lenses and sailors bundles and in every part of the house people kept tripping over his equipment and all sorts of unfamiliar animals appeared to that had uh, traveled from remote lands only to meet their death beneath Nana's erect broom in the farthest corners of the house. Uncle Marco's manners were those of a cannibal as he spent hello Khalid still with us I believe you might die Uh, yeah. yeah. He spent. He spent the whole night yeah. the drawing room. Later, they fed exercises designed to help him all over the body and also improve uh, digestion. Digestion. Okay. So. Digestion. Okay, we'll stop here and continue later. So each time Uncle Marcus had visited his sister's uh, Nivea's home, he would stay for several months. So simply, Uncle Marcus, he moved or traveled from one place to another. And while traveling to new places, he would usually bring some souvenirs with him. Yet those souvenirs he would bring are very strange, not like the common souvenirs we bring, like chocolate or photos or things like that. Yet he was always trying to bring something unusual in order to just through or shed the light on the excitement of her nephews and nieces, particularly Clara. Because Clara, she was so connected to her uncle, which is Uncle Marx, of course, 
consequently they would have a very very amusing time together so he would for example the house would become clutter of trunks and animals so the things he would bring with him in formaldehyde formaldehyde is a chemical substance that we use in order to preserve the bodies in them okay so if you have added barot for example okay or some animals who died and you put it in formaldehyde it will not analyze okay so it will stay in his same shape so he will bring some animals in charge of formaldehyde so that they can keep their shape without any changing of indian ancients and sailors bundles in every part of the house kept the troubling over his equipment so he will bring a lot of these things to the house in order to just make them make them fascinated with what he has brought and all sorts of unfamiliar animals appeared that had traveled from remote lands only to meet their death in his nana's a great poem in the furthest corners of the house so uh, of course while bringing some strange animals like parrots or some uh, some pets we will not say animals but pets so animals that you can coexist and live with in the same house while bringing them of course nana's his sister would just uh, go after them with the broom okay and starts to kill them one by one because she dislike the animals uncle marcus's manners were those of a cannibal cannibal the one who eats meat okay as a uh, servo put it he spent the whole night making incomprehensible movement and the drawing room later they turned out to be exercises uh, digested to perfect the mind's control over the body and also to improve digestion perhaps he had some sort of problem with his abdomen and stomach consequently he would practice those uh, movements continue please uh khalid he performed it he performed alchemy experiments in the uh, kitchen filling the house with fitted smoke and during pots and pans was that good yes pots and pans with oh wait with... your screen is black on my uh okay not okay 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 uh with fitted smoke and running pots and pans with solid substances that stuck to their bottoms and were impossible to remove while the rest of the household tried to sleep he dragged the suitcases up and down the hills practicing uh making strange high-pitched sounds on savage instruments and taught spanish to a par parrot whose na native language was an amazonic dialect right dialect dialect okay so Next. simply they speak here about uh, the performance and the action that uh, uncle uh, uh, they would perform okay like for example he would perform some strange uh, alchemy experiments in uh, the kitchen so while doing so he will fill the kitchen with the smoke and ruin all the pots so now how can we cook ruin the pots and the pans and also using some uh, solid substances uh, that make the bathroom uh, smells very bad or even uh, to try to make some smoke in the house so all of this of course caused some sort of uh, uh, disrupting to the people living in the house uh, and even while they were sleeping he will just uh, drag his suitcases up and down the hills and practice some uh, uh, sort of exercising and some strange thing uh, he would uh, usually do even he brought some uh, some night he brought uh, an amazonic uh, dialect uh, pirate and he tried to teach him spanish so like for example bringing a pirate from america and trying to uh, teach him uh, arabic okay so that's it he brought it from uh, the amazon rainforest in uh, south america and he tried to teach him spanish we'll come back Muhammad al -Hayat. are you ready to share with us some of your knowledge Khaled, please, during the day. 
During the day, he slept in a hammock that he had strung between two columns in the, hell, in the hall, wearing only a linen cloth that put her in a terrible mood, but that Nivea forgave because Marcus had convinced her that it was the same costume in which Jesus of Na uh, Nazareth had preached. Clara remembered perfectly, even though she had been only a tiny child, the first time her uncle Marcos came to the house, after one of his voyages, he settled in as if the plan to stay forever. After a short time, bored we ha uh, with having to appear at ladies' gatherings, where the mistress uh, of the house played the piano with c playing cards, and with dodging all his relatives' pressure to pull himself together and take a job as a clerk in several uh, Del Valley's law practice. He bought a barrel organ and took to the streets with the hope of uh, accusing uh, his, cousin, uh, uh, his cousin Antonia and entertaining the public in the bargain. All right, so simply we speak also about that during the day, usually he slept in a hammock that he had hung between two columns and the hole. So, like a pirate, just living on a hammock, wearing only line clothes. And of course, the line clothes, he claimed that they are the same clothes that Jesus of Nazareth had preached with, because they are very easy to the uh, body and that uh, they do not uh, give us any problem. Okay, so later on, Clara remembered also perfectly that even though she had uh, been only very tiny and young, uh, a child, yet uh, the first time that her uncle came to the house after one of his voyage, he settled in. Now I'm staying with you guys and I'm not leaving. If he planned to stay forever, after a short time, bored with having to appear at ladies so sitting down for some time in that place no now i need to leave because it's becoming very very dull and really there is nothing amusing here so i need to go to the rainforest to the desert to meet some new people and he will not stay with them even though that uh, at some gathering he uh, where the mistress of the house played the piano and that was uh, something that is uh, was very very usual back then okay so in the old times uh, in the middle ages uh, the mistress of the, the house like the ladies of the house uh, they were uh, uh, taught how to play the piano and they played some music and even they sang a little bit so where the mistress of the house played the piano with playing cards of course and with dodging all of the relatives uh, pressures to himself uh, to get uh, a job so all of his relatives why don't you just settle down here with us and have uh, a job in uh, the uh, severo del valle's uh, low practice come on if you had a job you will settle down and you will stop your unuseless uh, uh, travels and uh, voyages and just try to become uh, a settler with us later of course uh, uh, he put a parable organ and took it to the street and he started to seduce. Seduce means to trick. Started to trick his cousin Antoinette and of course entertaining the public in the parium. So he was a very amusing man. The machine was just a rusty box with wheels, but he painted it with a seafaring designs and gave it a fake ship's smoke deck. It ended up looking like a cool stove. The organ played either a military march or a waltz, and in between turns of the handle, the parrot, who had managed to learn some Spanish, so he was successful in teaching the parrot to speak Spanish, although he had not lost his foreign accent would draw a crowd a crowd with his preaching shirts he also puckled the slips of paper from a box with his own pick by way of selling portions to the curious the little pink green and blue papers were so clever that they always divulged the exact secret wishes 
of uh, the customers. And that's a very easy uh, trick that you can even do. Okay, uh, grab a paper, okay. Grab a tiny paper, okay, a white one, and hold it with your hands. One, two, three. That's a very strange hand, actually. <laughs> okay. Grab the paper with uh, with your hand and put a very very tiny uh, pen or pencil uh, and stick it to your thumb. And ask one of your parents or your sister or your brother to wish for something or to say something, uh, a number, for example, or uh, a name, any word, okay? And of course, show him the paper for that it's white. And once he say the word or the number, for example, how many years, how old are you, for example? He will tell you 17. You write, hmm, 17. And of course, you write 17 using your thumb. Of course, don't ask him about something very obvious. Ask him, uh, what's your perfect color, for example? He will say black. So black, and you write it with your thumb while you are holding the paper. So it's a very nice trick, actually, that you can perform to just uh, fascinate your family. OK, so Uncle. <coughs> Marcus also performed these types of uh, tricks in order to just amuse uh, the people who come to visit him. If I, of course, version that there were little poles of uh, sawdust uh, to amuse the children. The idea of the organ was uh, a last uh, desperate attempt to win the hand of cousin Antoinette. After more conventional means of uh, carting here, he unfortunately failed. Marcus thought uh, that that's a very long paragraph. No woman in her right mind could remain impassive before a paral organ surgeon. And that's gonna be it for today. Any question about that great line? By the way, we are grade eight. By the way, what? We are grade eight, not wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I just finished the grade nine. It's okay. <clears throat> And next year, in a few months, actually, not next year, in a few months, you're going to be grade nine. So we should be good for shrink grade eight. OK, that's it for today. And we will continue next week. That is in comprehension, actually. But uh, see you tomorrow, guys, and do your best in your See you, teacher, tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Have a nice day, teacher.